guys, this is Susan here with Pack Later Dog Training, and I'm here with Bindi. She is actually with us for two weeks for a board and train. Now I have done a couple simple sessions with her owner to give her like the basics. So we were able to food lore and leash pressure for basic obedience commands. So she's staying here with me so that we can get her moved on to the e-collar and actually be able to work her off leash. So the owner's goals for her are to be able to have an off-leash reliable dog, to be able to recall her, she comes and sits, and to be able to just walk her nicely down the street um, in, a, in a heel without reacting to like other things. Also, she is known for picking up random stuff off the street, off the sidewalk, in the grass, and putting it in her mouth. That is a typical puppy behavior, and we're gonna communicate with her that's not something you can do anymore. Um, you can't just randomly pick stuff up off the ground because it could hurt you. But good job so this is actually i just brought her home she's only been with me for let's say 20 minutes and i'm just letting her explore the one thing i did do with her already is threshold drills so we started working on those um, we're going to pattern those every day so it's not just something that hey i did it once check that off my list i exposed her to it so just going up to the door we sit i open the door you're not allowed to go through it um, and i'll actually show you that here i'm gonna walk up to this door she needs to be in a sit. If she's not sitting, I'm gonna do leash pressure up because I want this to all be wordless. Good. Now when I open this door, if she goes to get up, I'm gonna say no and give her leash pressure to put her back in that sit. No. Because I wanna just be able to tell her and communicate with her, and this is all wordlessy besides the marker word. So I'm gonna say no and I'm gonna open this door again. Good. If she doesn't rush out, she gets a good and a reward. Um, rewards for her are affection right now uh, because she's not a big eater. So I'm gonna replay that again. So I give her a second to think it out. Good. So she did that on her own. So I'm not gonna use any pressure at all. I'm gonna open this door. Good. Break. Good girl. So that's what I want it to look like. And we are gonna pattern that regularly over the next 14 days as she's here with me. Good. And then I want you to actually be able to open your door normally. So I should be able to fling this door open. Good. And have her not go through there until I say her release word. So I'm gonna say break and let her go through the door. Break. So stay tuned because you're gonna see updates of Miss Bindi. You'll be able to see what I do with the board and train, whether it be the threshold drills like I showed you, kennel drills. Um, I'll give updates here and there. I wanna start something new with this um, a little video series so you'll be able to see her as she comes in. And then as she progresses along the way, I'll just give you little updates but you'll be able to see her along each step of the way through her e-collar phases um, and just be able to watch her learn and grow. So thanks for joining and enjoy watching us grow and learn together.